I think they should ban, um, Halloween Nichols should ban selling of bark art because it's really unethical. It's really unfair to the animals, it's putting them in like a really artificial situation, they wouldn't be in the wild. Uh, Waitrose ethical bark art really doesn't make much of a difference and they should definitely ban it as well. Well I think like the farming industry is as a whole really cool but I mean realistically we're not going to ban it all and there's some, some places where we should start and things like bark art is totally unnecessary. It's quite, uh, quite an inhumane practice. Um, I know, I know it's duck liver, isn't it? So um, I didn't really fancy it when I first heard that anyway. Uh, but I don't really know if I'm in any position to question French delicacies because I presume that they've had it for centuries. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't sound particularly friendly to me. And if, if, if they're doing an ethical version of it, I can't really imagine how ripping out duck liver is ethical. I don't, I don't see it as, as any, any, any more ethical than... than I don't know, there's, there's plenty of other things that, that go on like, the, like battery farming and all sorts of stuff within, um, within like kind of the industry of producing animals for, for food. I mean, at the end of the day, we're, we're breeding animals to kill them, to be eaten. And I don't think that the animals have any particular concern over um, you know, like kind of, oh, I, I get to have a, a, a good meal. It's almost like a, like sort of like a last request for someone on death row being given, given a like a, a slap up meal be, before they're executed. They're still going to be dead at the end of the day. So I think it's just sort of a bit of a, a cover over, a, a, just to make it sort of seem a bit better, so people can kind of put their co conscience at rest while they're while they're tucking in at Christmas time. Well, the method of using fire agar essentially, you know, force feeding ducks. I'm, I'm against it. I'm, I'm not a huge animal rights activist. I'm not vegetarian, but it is seen as a bit of a delicacy here in the UK. And I mean, they, they've already been force feeding chickens or uh, bringing the sort of lifespan of chickens down. They've reduced it by about two thirds, I think. What it takes them to become a chick to a fully grown chicken ready for consumption. I think certain stores should ban the sale of fire within, um, well, within their marketplace. Uh, the boycott of any sort of goods does have an impact on the industry as a whole. I'm a vegetarian myself, and I think that. Uh, yeah, basically, I think that the whole, the whole, the whole meat industry is kind of is 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 is, is depriving a lot of like communities in the third world uh, from their source of food because they have to grow wheat and soya for our cows to eat, and uh, also the amount of water it uses. For example, a cow, uh, one pound of beef is uh, um, a year of showering in water, so like it's just massively intensive, and for environmental reasons and the footprint we have on the earth, I think it's better to stop eating meat. But then you can also have organic meat which doesn't necessarily um, give the animals such a bad life so I think maybe we should look into that but definitely for our is, 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 is very unethical.